Blog Talk Radio. Yes, yes, y'all. You are now listening to the sound of the shofar blowing. The shofar is a ram's horn that is blown to inspire the people to do their thing. And the shofar is blown to coordinate a queen or a king. And today the shofar is being blown to call us to tune into the subtleties of seduction, the subtleties of it. This is Faux Show Holistic Health on Blog Talk Radio, and I'm your host, Shofar, from Faux Show Energy Work. And today my guest is Corey Sky. Uh, Corey Sky is a personal mentor for men. He's a coach of life. He's helped men all around the world have a better connection with women and also with themselves. And when I first came across Corey, it was actually, I was actually uh, researching to maybe do my own like PUA or pickup artist book or not, not a pickup artist book, but to help men with seduction and help men with uh, the idea of getting more comfortable with women. And so I've actually still been working on that book. But when I came across Corey, when I have to, I have to say out there in the PUA world, uh, it was, it was kind of dismal. And so when I came across uh, his work and everything, he was one of very few men that I actually felt it for me that I actually resonated with. So anyway, without, uh, and I think through this uh, interview, you actually see why that is. So let's go ahead and bring the brother on. Corey Sky, are you out there? What's up, bro? How you doing? Hey, I'm good, man. No question, man. It's, uh, it's uh, good to speak to you. It's an honor to speak to you. Yeah, yeah, you too, bro. Thanks yeah, for having no me question, on. Man. Oh, no question, bro. No question. How about how about uh how things been going for you? Uh life is good, bro. <laughs> life is good. Yeah, I've got um I've got four kids now, so it's uh Oh wow. It's a little bit it's a it's a little bit different world for me now. Yeah, you know, I don't do I don't do a lot of the stuff I used to, you know, back in the day, but it's uh it gives me a different perspective on life and it's um yeah it's one of balance <laughs> you know each and every day so beautiful man beautiful well you know the thing is is that uh one of the things that i picked up from your work is that you are very much about life and how that it just so happens that if we 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 are in balance and we enjoy life more the the, the woman thing is going to actually happen Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. So, yeah, cool. Let's just go ahead and uh, since we only have 30 minutes and I know you have a lot to share, let's go ahead and dump, jump into the deep end of the pool and uh, let's help, these, uh, help some of these fellas out. Uh, let's talk about technique versus being when it comes to uh, attraction with women. Um, well, I mean, you've got... Uh, you know, there's a ter- technique versus being, um, you know, when we don't have what it is that we want, we have been taught to, we have been taught to learn in a very specific way. Okay. So, you know, as kids, you go to school, if you want to learn something, you learn A, B, C, and then D, right? It's it's very systematic, right. right? It's very systematic, and it's very problem solution oriented. Okay, um, right. life life is not necessarily like that when you are entering into your higher self. Okay. Um, you know, it's it's funny because, you know, I never set out to help guys become better men and better uh with dating. I didn't I didn't need, I mean I never saw myself as a teacher. But when I got into it, I you know, it was I mean, I had no idea what the hell I even did. Um you know, it just everything just kind of <laughs> always flew. You know, it, it was just natural for me. You know, I show up. There's always a girl for me. Yeah, you know, um, didn't matter where I went, I always knew that there was going to be a girl for me. Um, and and that that wasn't 
me chasing girls. It wasn't me going out, running any techniques. It was almost as if it was like magic, like it just happened, right? And so there was no set specific technique that I would do. There was nothing specific that I would say. Um, You know, there was, I mean, it, it was just me showing up being me and allowing things to happen and flow naturally. And when I did Mm -hmm. that, it just happened to be that women would do 95% of the work. Like I didn't have Mm -hmm. to do anything. You just, I just show Mm -hmm. up. And, you know, when I started teaching other guys this back in 2007, um, you know, I didn't understand the depth to, how I actually was doing it. But the more I dove into it, the more I started working with clients and, you know, it, my business kind of exploded. I, you know, guys were flying me all around the world to, uh, to work with them. And the transformations that I've seen were just incredible, but the transformations weren't just in guys dating lives. Um, it was in all aspects of their lives. I, I, I helped raise their mm-hmm. vibration and develop a certain lifestyle, a certain way of living and, and being that allowed them to go out and live a happier, more fulfilled lifestyle where they could go out and attract what it is, whatever it was that they wanted effortlessly without without any work without techniques without knowing what to say i mean it's it's a beautiful thing you know because you don't there's no thought in it there's no there's no thought there's no trying right, right. um the the hardest work that my clients put in is the work that behind the scenes that they do on themselves um you know, so there's there's the techniques and the things that I help guys with is more about themselves becoming this magnetic attractor, this the, and tapping into more of their higher self or spiritual self. Um, you know, we've we've all been taught. You know, from I mean, it's been taught for thousands of years, you know, uh, as a human being, we are mind, body, and soul. Well, if you take and you, you dive a little bit deeper, you recognize that we are a soul with having a human experience with a mind and a body. All right. So with that being said, if you just quiet the mind, quiet the, the memory that lives within our body, our physical body, and you show up in that pure, absolute pureness of, you know, your higher self, which is spirit, soul, um, that's how you can, that's how you're able to really manifest without any effort. And and it's, um, it's a tough, you know, concept for uh, a lot of people to grasp because it really goes against the way we are taught as kids, right? And it goes against right. our education system. It goes against, um, you know, just pretty much everything, <laughs> everything, right? So, no, but I, I think but it you, works. Oh, it definitely works, and I think you do. Um, you know, from listening to some of your your interviews and stuff like that, you, I think you do a really good job of taking that, if you will, heavenly concept and making it uh, earthly available for people. Uh, You know, one thing that I'd like to say to people, Corey, is that um, as far as guys, like knowing deep in your body that the woman wants to connect because uh, here's the thing, at an atomic level, like if we think at at an atomic or even subatomic or if we go a little bit higher on the scale, molecules, like at a molecular Mm -hmm. level, like it's happening and that's what makes us up, you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. if these are Energy. the things that make us, so. you know, as above, so as, as above, so below. So these are the things that make mm-hmm. us up. So it makes sense that this woman, if we just carry that knowing in our body, she wants to connect. So what are, 
what interference are, are we running with that? Is 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 our mind? Well, it's yeah, it's it's not necessarily our mind that is interfering. It's the conditioning within our mind. Okay, our right, mind, right, right, our right. mind and body holds memory. All right, right. It's, you know, uh, our mind and body hold memory inside of it. So if something happens, good or bad, you know, we we hold that memory inside of us, and and the more memories uh, that you have stored inside the more um it influences and affects your way of being and and how you act and how you react and whether you turn left or right at the stop sign um you know each and every single day the 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 thing that you know i i work with each and every one of my clients with is is teaching them how to quiet their mind and body okay quiet those the memories the thoughts Mm -hmm. the and then um, redirecting their belief systems, but more importantly, just living more consciously and being more aware of what is in any and every moment. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, to, to to check in a little bit more with our feelings and what's going on for ourselves and doing that kind of internal gauge or whatever. I love it. I love it. Right, uh, right. Let's talk a bit, little bit about uh, so. Um, one of the things that I that you, that you said there, I think, is really really deep. There is the the false belief systems, those patterning of thoughts, and how they can kind of create loops. Uh, what are some of the What are some of those things that you're talking about? All right. Well, I mean, here's a here's a um, here's a perfect example. So, I had a client call me. <clears throat> I know we we're doing a coaching session, and he says uh, he says I just don't understand. He says I'm I'm getting better. I'm going out more, I'm being more social, you know, I'm getting attention from girls, but it seems like every time I go out, I start conversations, you know, with different people, um, girls, guys, and it never goes anywhere. And it, it happens every time where like, I'll, I'll start chatting and, you know, socializing, talking, whatever, but it's very surface level. And, you know, we don't ever, I don't really ever connect with people. He says, I want to connect more people and I want to have deeper conversations. I said, well, I said, it's really simple, bro. I said, all you got to do is stop expecting yourself to have very surface level, superficial conversations and start expecting that right. you are going right. to end up in deeper conversations you're going to that that you start expecting that that you connect you attract people that connect with you easily and effortlessly and he's like hmm okay so a couple weeks went by we get back on the phone he says i said how you doing and i said that he says man i've been doing great he says everywhere i go i'm meeting all these people and these, I mean, all the, everybody that I meet, you know, I'm, I mean, I end up in these really nice, awesome conversations. We connect really deep and people, you know, really love getting to know me and they laugh at my jokes and they really want to, you know, and, and then next thing you know, like I, I've met several different girls through the, you know, while I've been out and, you know, uh, we've taken it farther and I've actually got two girlfriends right now because of that. And I'm like, well, there you go. <laughs> I mean, but that's just yeah. one. Well, that's one little example. I had another client. He was an Indian. He was an Indian guy, and he said, mm-hmm. "I I went out, and he told me about an experience. He, how he went out, and he had this girl, and he uh, he was standing there at the bar, and he's just sitting there hanging out. He just ordered a drink, and he had this girl look at him, and she's like, and then she like said something about sex. She's like, sex is on your mind, like kind of." like snarly at him right and he's like no what are you talking about because <laughs> he i mean he was exuding you know a really strong sex appeal you know after working with me that's why that's a big part of what i do is i help my clients develop this raw sex pure sex appeal i mean i know he wasn't thinking about sex at that point but you know once you develop this sex appeal women can pick up on it right uh Right. So he and he just laughed. I mean, but she was, and then she, you know, and then they kind of were talking, and um, 
but it, it made him really frustrated because he's like, well, why he's like, why did she do that? Like, why did she tell me that I was thinking about sex, but as if it was a bad thing? I said, well, right. remember, you got to remember, we are a mirrored image of what we think and what we believe. So we're, and then, you know, so basically, whatever's going on internally with you is going to be a perfect reflection of what is happening <laughs> in your physical reality. I said, Love you it. had this, you had this belief or something going on internally with you thinking that sex is almost a bad thing and that, um, that, that you projecting the sex appeal is going to get you caught or, you know, fa- you know, found out. Right. <laughs> So, and he's like, man, you're right. He's like, so, so what do I do? I said, well, I said, um, well, what do you want? He says, well, I mean, I mean, I'd like to, I mean, I, he says, well, what do you mean? What do I want? I said, well, what do you, well, how, I mean, let's replay that same exact situation. How would you have liked it to have gone? And he says, man, I would have liked to have like, had that girl come up and just say something about sex. And then like, we just, to, you know, she grabs my hand and we take off and go out and leave, <laughs> you know, and go have sex. <laughs> and I'm like, well, so, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, why don't, why don't you just, why don't you just put that in your mind and feel that and think about it and feel it. And like, it feels pretty good. Right. He, and he closes his eyes and he's like, oh yeah, that feels great. <laughs> so <laughs> a couple of weeks later, I made up, I would made up with the same guy. And I said, he's like, bro, he's like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't believe what happened. I said, well, yes, I would. I mean, I, I, I absolutely would, but, but go ahead, tell me. Yeah. And he says, uh, he's like, I went, I went to this bar. I went out to Tampa with a buddy of mine. We had just gotten to the bar of a Jackson's. Right? It's, a, it's a nice bar right on the water in Tampa and, uh, where we go frequently. And he says, uh, my buddy went to the bathroom. I, I had just ordered a drink. A girl from down the bar uh, looks at me and points at me and, you know, kind of calls me over to her. She And then he's like, well, I did, I did what she said. I turned around and I, I turned it around and pointed at her and, you know, told her to come back, come over to me. So she comes over to him and she says, uh, are you Indian? And mm-hmm. then just asks him a question. Are you Indian? And he says, mm-hmm. yes, I am. And he's looking at her and, you know, he, he could feel it. And he just looks at her and she's like, good. I like Indian guys. She's like, do you want, I got, I got a place right across the street. Do you want to go? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. <clears throat> so, and this is the kind Love of stuff it. that happens all the time. And, you know, it's, it's really taking back your control as a man as a spiritual being having and an experience as a human being um here on earth and and really acknowledging the fact that you have the power within you to experience everything that you want the the secret the real key is is to understand the the language of the universe the universal language or God, force, or source, or law of attraction, however you want to call it. You need to understand that um, this, you know, to, to speak with your, you know, the collective consciousness, you need to understand that it doesn't God, source, however you want to call it, the law of attraction, it doesn't speak English. So when, when you say certain words, when you when you set in an attention and say, well, this is what I would like, you know, I would like to date this type of girl. I would like to have date multiple women and have these experiences. If you, it's one thing to say it, but on a, it's a whole other thing to feel it. Okay, so when you're right. setting an intention and you're really connecting with and setting intentions and to, and then you want to enter into this place of, you know, allowing and receiving, you really need to get into that feeling state of being. 
right? So when, you know, and where a lot of people go wrong with the law of attraction and how, you know, and, and, and manifesting what it is they really want in life and attracting what they really want is they set the, so they set an intention, but then they follow it up with a, yeah, but I'm not good enough or she probably won't like me or she's probably married or, you know, that's not likely or that's never happened to me before. Um, so it's not possible, you know, I'm, you know, whatever it is, they follow it up with that. Yeah. But, and then with that following that, yeah, but following those words comes a lot of ugly feelings associated with those words that you're speaking. Right. So you're saying, so on one hand, you're verbalizing saying that you want, this is the experience that you would like you're vocaling, vocalizing it and, and using your words. But then you're communicating right. with the universe through your feeling, through the feelings that you're generating. And if you have any sort of resistance in your feelings, such as, you know, yeah, but I'm, you know, maybe you have fears, doubts, insecurities, you got a bad experience, whatever it is, when your thoughts go into that, yeah, but, and you, you're flooded with all those ugly feelings, that is actually what you're going to manifest more of. So when you're right. setting an intention, you say you want something, you need to make, you need to be clear that you, that you need to you need to make sure that your mind and body is clear of the resistance and the negative feelings, the emotions, because that is exactly what is going to continue. That is what continues to attract and manifest different things into your life, good and bad. I love it. I love it. Your family, those of you listening, uh, now and, and later in the future through time and space, take that, sit with it, breathe it into your body, you know, let it register somewhere in the physical body, what Corey just said, because it's gems. Um, you know, for a lot of us, Corey, I feel like, uh, you know, confidence, you know, stuff like that, when we when we, we talk about words like that, it's a mental construct or idea, but what you're talking about is, actually embodying and feeling it somewhere in the body and that that's how we actually it's through that feeling language that we actually communicate to the universe and i'd like to transition into another thing that i really picked up in your videos that i really resonated with is that you have a love for women you know so let's go somewhere let's talk a little bit on that is just having a genuine love for women and for the feminine and for life aka feminine energy uh and that that is how you have more magical experiences in life in general and then with women can you go a little bit into that yeah absolutely i mean you you, you hit the i mean you hit it right there i mean uh, i have a very uh, a very deep unconditional love and acceptance for women um, just as they are. And when, when I meet a girl and we have that deep level of connection, that deep connection, um, you know, it, it just, when I look into her eyes, I look at her as the most beautiful woman that I've ever seen in my life. And right. I speak of it in that way, no matter what, like, it, 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 because when you are truly living in the present moment, nothing else exists. Not the girl, right. you met last week, not the bad experience that you had three weeks ago, not the good, not the amazing, all the amazing experiences that you've had not the hundreds of other, or thousands of other women that you've met in the past. Nothing exists except for you in that moment with her. And when you, right. 
when you truly can enter into that moment, you, it's, almost, it's kind of like a, you enter into a bubble where time slows down. You're, you're connecting more just on a, uh, on a soul level um, beyond the mind and body. And, you know, and, and in many cases, you know, up to this point, you know, people have considered this to be fate, love at first sight, uh, beyond love. Like it was meant to be. Okay. Um, this Disney, you know, Disney has been doing movies and cartoons and animated uh, movies on this for as long as we can remember, right? That talks about all these, like, uh, you know, when you when you zing and you know you have this. Uh, it's, it was fate. We were brought together or whatever. It only happens once, right. maybe twice in a lifetime. So, <laughs> right. It, that's, it's not true. You, this is, this is exactly what I'm talking about. And this is what I've been doing for the last 25 years of my life. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's how mm-hmm. I have always connected with women. Um, and that's what I teach my clients how to do. It, it um, you know, it, it makes it more it, less about just the physical and more about the experience that you have with a woman. And um, it, it makes it less about trying. You don't have to try when you're in, the, in, in this bubble, when you enter the zone with her. It just, everything kind of flows naturally and effortlessly. And, um, you know, and you cherish you cherish that moment, you know, it's, it, you cherish that moment and almost as if it's the last moment, your last moment on earth, uh, because nothing else exists, which makes it extremely special for her and memorable for her and you. But this is where a lot of, a lot of, you know, guys that get into my teachings, they'll have, you know, they'll have this experience for the first time. And then next thing you know, they're falling in love <laughs> and, and they're like within like a day, they're like talking to her, this girl as if she, it was meant to be. And she, as if they're in a uh, relationship and then they end up creeping her out and pushing her away. And I and I always say, you know, call a spade a spade. You have one of these amazing, incredible connections. Enjoy it. Appreciate it. Love it. Cherish it. But call a spade a spade. It is what it is. Enjoy that moment. Tomorrow is a new day, and you keep going. You keep living. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I mean, there's there's such a tendency, uh, Corey, for us to, you know, uh, as human beings on this planet, to have those moments. If we do, and then it's like, man, that that beautiful bird. I I, I got to make it mine. I got to put it in the cage. Or such a beautiful tiger. Now I, I got to own the tiger. It's like no. You know, experience that moment, let it be what it is, and 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 then let that pass, and and know within ourselves that another moment is coming. And, you know, I, I heard one um, person saying, uh, "Yes, more, please." That's what you say to the universe, right? Uh, so I love it, man. I love I love every all, everything that you're talking about there, and I think especially with the feminine, uh, when we're there's this deep yearning. I, I remember when I was a uh, as a teenager in, in my t- early 20s, man, and I would see this in women's eyes that, that y- I, I call it the yearning. Uh, but when we're in that bubble, as you say, then that yearning for them to share their love and their beauty, their intellect and their pleasure and their passion, um, it just flows naturally with you. And it's such a, it's a, such a beautiful thing. It's, it's, it really is sacred. It really is sacred. Yeah. Um, you know what, uh, Corey, you know, I definitely enjoyed the conversation and everything, man. I mean, it's exactly um, without expectation, but kind of what I expected it to be, if that makes sense. Um, <laughs> uh, but we're at, we're at the end here, and I want you – I know you, you alluded to the beginning that you have a different lifestyle now, um, that you have four kids. But uh, tell people what you got going on or if you have any projects or things that you're working on or just another gem that you want to leave the family with, please. <laughs> Yeah, the big thing, I mean, the big thing that I've got working now is, you know, I've got, um, I still work with clients one-on-one, you know, I work with a mm-hmm. small number of clients each year one-on-one, um, you know, and take them through a full immersion, complete transformation um, process. Um, 
it, it, it's more of an executive type coaching program where we work together over an extended period of time because of the, the, the big thing that guys need all guys need to realize is if they don't have if you don't have the dating life that you want and and you're really struggling it has nothing to do with the dating life um and and focusing on your dating life is only focusing on improving your dating life is only going to um keep what you want from you i mean if you if you really want to improve your dating life you want to be able to be yourself, be honest, attract women naturally, create an amazing dating life. You need to really take the focus off of women and put it on you and, um, you know, and, and, right. and focus on building more of that sexual confidence within yourself and, 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 and reaching that higher level of oneness and connectedness to what is, um, you know, and, you know, that, so, so I work with my clients one-on-one with that, you know, in full immersion. And then I've got my inner circle that I work with guys on. And we go on several different trips a year, which are all about pushing your comfort zone, breaking out, breaking yourself out of where you're at. Because that's one of the biggest things, too, is, and I can't encourage that enough, is, you know, if, if you're not really getting the results that you want, you're stuck in a habit, you know, old habits, old patterns, you really need to shatter these patterns and then the easiest way to do that is by pushing yourself beyond your comfort zone doing something completely out of character completely out of the norm completely out of what is uh what society deems as socially acceptable <laughs> um and start and start and really start living uh living more the way you want to live and acknowledge that you are creating every single thing that has has happened and is happening in your life. Um, you know, so, I mean, you can check out my website if you're interested in learning more about the, my inner circle or one-on-one coaching at uh, www.coreysky.com, C-O-R-Y-S-K-Y-Y.com. Dope, dope, dope. Wow. That's what's up, Well. Definitely uh, family out there, uh, those of you that it resonated with, uh, you know, definitely check Corey out. You know, this is just the, really the tip of the iceberg in your journey, you know. And uh, so uh, I know the brother has more to share with you and everything, so check him out. And, again, Corey, you know, you talked about appreciation and cherishing. I definitely appreciate you, man. Thank you for being on today. Yeah, I appreciate you having me. Thank you. No question. No question. And again, uh, family, uh, we cherish and appreciate y'all. Uh, you know, you have this life, L-I-F-E, living in full expression. Uh, so do that. Cherish each moment. And it's going to take you to some magical places when you really allow these things to happen. And again, this is Full Show Holistic Health on Blog Talk Radio. And I'm your host, Show Far from Full Show Energy Work. Keep shining. Keep climbing, y'all. Peace.